Well, we've made it. This is it. Walk it on. Oh yes, exciting times. First trip with the rods came up here last week for a little walk about. Bit of an eye opener. Took us uh, about four hours, ten minutes to do a lap. Very, very mazy. But yeah, I'm lost again actually, <laughs> straight away. But yeah, yeah, it's a mad old place. I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, got it just on. We're well, just after first lot now. Gonna go and have a bit of a look about. Just having a quick look down the bottom of No Cart Bay. What a lovely great big sheet of water. So that's looking at all the cells farm. Miles away over there, I think. I can zoom in. I think that's a scaffold up there, just make it out. Yeah, mega place. Well, this is it, Rod's out for the first time on the mighty Burfield, I've got to say. I'm absolutely buzzing for it. Got down this morning, had a little bit of a walk, but yeah, mate, mate uh, Neil, he was in this swim here and he was going, and we see a few fish go, and my mate George, he was he was already bucketed to get in here, and he very kindly has let me set up on the left hand side of this swim here. So, uh, as you can see, there's plenty of room, and there's a few fish out there, and uh, yeah, wind's blowing in here nice, and, to be fair, it looks bloody pretty awesome. We're, we're both feeling quite confident. Sure, it'll be only first night on here, but we've seen a few, and it does look the part, to be honest. So, uh, hopefully, one of them little bad boys will be rattling off tomorrow morning. We shall see. Anyway, keep you updated then. Very cold night last night, down to minus two, bloody freezing, and uh, all, all is quiet, but yes, yeah, it's, it's lovely having the rods out first morning on here. I think old, old George is over there. Got that kettle on, George? Just making a porridge, mate. Ah, right, okay, mate. I'll stick on in a Good man, good man. Beautiful. Check this out, mid-April and it's bloody snowy. <laughs> yeah, I ain't seen no fish today. It's all been a bit quiet, but I'm sure there's a few out there somewhere. So yeah, gonna stick put tonight and give it give it another another go. Check this out for April. There's old Georgie B. You alright there, George? Yeah. Yeah? What do you reckon the chances then on the one of these uh, Burfield carp then, bruv? I thought you might say that. Check it out, proper bit of a uh, snow on George's old tin. Show you around the back here. Give you a little idea. How amazing it is, you've got a bay right there. And obviously a huge stretch of open water. And a little channel here. Through to Snaggy Bay. And another channel over there. Pretty sure that's Pingewood Point there. Beyond there's our station bay, so yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit of a maze and they could be anywhere. A beautiful morning on Burphy. It's the last morning, done four nights now. Haven't moved because basically the whole time I've been here, I've been seeing fish 
out in that no man's land out there. We can't, we can't fish that bit. It's all out of bounds. All beyond this island is out of bounds. And uh, every day there's been a few out there. And this morning, yeah, well, I didn't get out of the films. It was a bit dark, but yeah, on first light, seen probably 15 fish show now. All that, all that further than we can fish, but it's a good sign they're out in this open water and uh, we're just hoping something's going to drift over. Went for a good walk yesterday, had sort of two and a half hour walk up the other end, just because, yeah, yeah, I'd sort of stayed put in this swim. And even though we've seen them, it's always nice to have a look around and uh, just try and get me buried around the lake, because <laughs> even yesterday, it's been only my second time doing a full trip around the other end, and it's so amazing, it's a, it's a mad old place, which I'll be showing you later on. But yeah, I had a look, did see no carps, I come back and they'd be fine all night in here. So yeah, it's last gun saloon today. Well, we're hoping I'm going to give it till about 12 o'clock and uh, hopefully I'll be getting back to you soon. But if it don't happen, I'll catch up with you on my next trip in a week or so. So that's the beauty of Burfield. One minute you've got nice Egyptian ducks. The next minute you've got a rotten old tyre floating through your swim. Well people, this is my second trip to Burfield. Got down yesterday about six o'clock just on first light and then spent seven hours walking around looking for fish and I didn't actually see a thing. So, yeah, when it's like that, you can only do so much. So I ended up in this swim here called the Murders. Just looked good, sort of on the end of the wind that was coming in. Bit of shallow water out there, we had quite a bit of sun yesterday and today. So, yeah, I thought it was, it was worth a go. Just getting to know the lake a bit and, uh, yeah, loving it. Amazing place and uh, hopefully in the morning something might happen. But two days and a half go quick on here, you know. Before you know it, you know, you, you turn up, you do two nights, it's time to get home. It seems to whiz by so many places to explore and see. But yeah, you can only be one place at once and yeah, you, you can walk all day and not see a thing. So sometimes you've got to get the rods out and that's what I've done. But we're enjoying it. Just showing me tea for tonight. We've gone for the alpha heat as a night. They're looking a bit rosy, aren't they? Look at that. Lovely. For heaters, yeah, all the trimmings. Got me out at Vino's there, we like them. And uh, we're going to enjoy that, and hopefully tonight, well, something might happen, we shall see. If it does, I'll keep you updated, but if not, I'll, uh, I'll be checking in soon. Morning. Well, it's April the 29th, and this is my third trip on the mighty Burfield. Some of you there, uh, and it? Look at that. I mean, uh, the compound swim. And, uh, yeah, you've got a nice health view here, see plenty of water. And typically, as has been away, well, all month really, as you well know, April's been a bit of a mad one. We've had sort of a lot of high pressures, northerlies, easterly winds, frost most nights. Last night was another cold one. And uh, the fish, from what I've made out, have pretty much been sat out in that open water, zooming a bit out in the open water for the whole, whole month really, there's not a lot happening. Uh, I've seen about half a dozen fish this morning, but typically if I zoom right in, they're all over there, in the outer bounds, that whole far bank here. I'll, I'll pan around, that whole far bank is out of bounds, the syndicate. So, carp being carp, I know where they're safe. And they lodged up over there most of the time, it seems. Uh, I think we're just waiting for some warmer weather and a few southerly winds to kick in to hopefully push them up in the shallows and uh, be able to start making use of that end of the lake a bit more. But for the time being, yeah, I'm just trying to get in this open, deeper water, you know. So this ain't a bad, bad swim. I know it's uh, a lot of rod owls in it, and I don't think it's doing a lot. But then again, <laughs> you ain't gonna get told that much on here. But we're giving it a go. It's a lovely morning. They're out there. There's always a chance. So, uh, yeah, we will see. Morning, people. I thought it was about time I'll show my ugly face on screen. It's now the 6th of May. 
just done a night and we've had another frost. Can you believe it? This weather, this spring so far has been so cold, it's unbelievable. You know, I'll blame you on that <laughs> a bit on the lack of action, but it is playing a part, to be honest. On Burfield, it seems the whole month of April, the fish really ain't ventured out of that big middle section I've been telling you about. And uh, yeah, they're just out there bouncing about, basically in the outer bounds all the time. There ain't been a lot caught until recently. Last couple of days, there's a guy, guy Nick. He, he's done really well. He's had, he's had a nice result. It's not really my story to tell, but yeah, I think he's been only a couple of years and he's had his first bit of action. He's had a, he's had a right good session. He's had a few of the nice ones. So uh, fair play to Nick. Well done, mate. Um, so for me, I got down yesterday. I've got four night at this time, I've got a bit of holiday time now, so this is, this is my big push. I was hoping things would have warmed up by now, but they're not, and the fault bar still looks like it's it's going to warm up a little bit next week, should be a bit better, but yeah, we've still got these cold nights, fault last two tonight again. I think last night, there was a slight frost last night, and uh, I got there quite late yesterday after my night shift, I got here about four o'clock, lake's really busy. And uh, up this end where the fish seem to have been, I've ended up going up on the, the road bank, which is the entrance to uh, our station bay. I knew it was shallow, but yeah, I got set up. I just beat a big, uh, well, yeah, it actually <laughs> it down to be fair. I just got the tent up in time, so I was quite lucky with that. But yeah, I had a little cast about and it, it hardly getting a drop. There's a bit of weed out there, and I reckon it's only probably averaging three foot out there. So. With frosty nights, it, it, it weren't the one, but like I said, the lake was really busy and there really weren't a lot of other options, to be quite honest. So I've done, done a night now, I just flicked out three, uh, three singles on chods, to be honest, you know, in the weed, you, you, you never know they're out there fishing. Try to keep a bit quiet. It's a cracking looking swim, I'll spin the camera around in a second and show you, yeah. Here's a nice looking swim, a few islands. Uh, well, yeah, there's three or four islands out in front of us, looks lovely. and. Uh, but yeah, quite night, nice. ain't seen a lot. Watched the football last night, Chelsea Madrid. That was a cracker game. Obviously not a Chelsea fan at all. We're a uh, we're red all the way. As old Jurgen shows ya, Merry Clopmas. But uh, yeah, really enjoyed it actually. Chelsea played well. They looked uh, very dangerous to be honest, especially with the old strength and depth they got on the bench and that. I think the old uh, final will be a cracking game. So, what's the day? Well, I've got to cut the sausages on the go. I'm going to have them, and I'm probably going to pack up early. I don't think I'm anywhere near a fish here, to be quite honest, but that's what it's like, and this sort of uh, big pit fishing sometimes. There's a few people down, the, the fish are sort of consolidated in a couple of areas where you can just sort of get close to them, and uh, we're biding our time, really, to be honest, until it warms up a bit, and they start using a bit more of the lake, you know? You can actually get about a bit and get on some fish. Because so far, this is my fourth trip, the first three trips, as you see from the little bit I've put on there already. They've just been out in the open water, and yeah, you can just try and get as close as you can in a couple of open water swims, but that's where you're seeing them. There's obviously the odd fish dotted about elsewhere, but very few and far between, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I knew it'd be a bit like this. So this is this type of fish, you know. You, you ain't get... <laughs> Yeah, I can see a lot of carp on this blog by the looks of it, but I'm hoping I'm going to give a bit of insight into what's involved in this type of fishing. You know, it's 100 acres, you've got 80 or 90 carps, it's less than a fish in an acre, they're usually grouped up, and it's uh, it's hard work. It's meant to be hard, you know, this is why it's uh, the challenge, you know, it's Burfield, it's always going to be a massive challenge, but yeah, the bigger the challenge, the greater the reward, that's why we do it, you know. Without being big headed, I could go to quite a lot of sort of easier lakes I know of and yeah catch pretty regular but that don't give me the buzz this is what gets me going you know out there somewhere you know obviously you've got the main prize the old Burfield common but yeah loads of other big backup fish and to me it's always been about fishing these types of waters you know fish like Savay back in the day, Raysbury, the Cons Lake, Sutton Roach Pit these are sort of famous big fish circuit waters I don't know, it's just that challenge, I like to challenge myself to try it and put, pick myself against the best, you know, I don't get, don't get me wrong, I love catching carp, like everyone does, but at the end of the day I want to say it really means something to me and this, this is what it's about, so yeah, I'd rather sit here for 20 nights, like putting it together and maybe get, get one out of Burfield and say I've caught a Burfield carp and go somewhere I know I can sort of 
catch and this is what it's going to be about so it might turn into a bit of a yeah a, a cooking and ornithology birds of great britain vlog the way it's going but i'm, I'm confident yeah i'll keep cracking on trying hard keep my eyes peeled keep working hard you know and uh It'll, it'll come, you know, you've got to have that self-belief and I've certainly got that, so yeah, I'll get amongst it at some point, I just can't tell you when that's going to be, but I, hopefully sooner rather than later, so uh, yeah, I'll just spin this round, show you this swim, because it is a lovely swim, let's take that off, it's a yeah, be beautiful morning, cold one, a bit of steam coming off, Looks like old Lake Cassine out there, the old steam rising off the water. But yeah, over there, that's Pingewood Point, over there. And that's looking up towards the murders. So yeah, like I say, oh, let's take this off. A couple of sausages look like they're birdies, so we'll get on them in a minute. Yeah, I'm going to probably wrap up about 9 o'clock, uh, go and try and find some deeper water. My mate George, he's been down four days, I think he's up in uh, the murder swim. You know, that's about as, yeah, probably one of the better bets, but yeah, I might, might slot in behind him, but no, nah, first of all, I'm going to go for a good walk around the day and uh, give the eyes a chance, see what we can see, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. I think the, the bulk of the fish is still in that open body of water, but if I can find a little little pack somewhere else, I shall certainly have to move up the other end and uh, give it a go up there. Right, I'm going to enjoy these sausages and I shall catch you later. Evening people, what a lovely evening it is. Finally the weather seems to be about to turn, it's going to warm up a bit next couple of days. Didn't get nothing that last time I checked in down in our station, but then last night moved into uh, the little murders after a good four hour walk around the lake, but I couldn't find nothing up the other end. So I had a night the little murders, had a tench, and uh, that was about it really, but they've still been showing out long, out basically. Where the old speedboat is, so out in that ski channel, that's where they've been. So, uh, yeah, I managed to get in this swim to compound. And I must admit, I'm feeling uh, quite hopeful. So I've got two nights left. Probably going to stick out of here. We've got loads of wind and rain coming in. This should be a good bet, you know. have got a nice bit of deep water out there. So, uh, yeah, going to sit tight. I've got to redo my right-hand rod, so I think it might have been crayed. So I'm going to do that in a minute. Probably put an artificial rubber on that one and uh, see what happens in the morning. I shall keep you posted, but yeah, what, what a beautiful evening it is. Check this out for a cart, a bit of weather we woke up, so loads of rain last night. This is uh, kicking right in this southwest, it's, it's looking really good. Seen a couple out long further than I can fish, but yeah, it's the best chance I've had yet, I would have said. You know, it, it looks apart, they're out there, fingers crossed, but yeah, been a lot of rain last night. Got a big puddle there, and unfortunately, said puddle made its way into my tent, so we've got two great rolls of kitchen roll there. I'm trying to soak it all up. Nice bit of brekkie on the go, that looks all right, doesn't it? And uh, yeah, the boats have just come out, unfortunately, really early. I don't usually come out till the afternoon, but speed boats have just come out. It's 20 past 10, you know, bite time seems to have been sort of uh, 11, 12 o'clock. 
when bites have finally come, so uh, yeah, not ideal, but fingers crossed it don't put them off too much, the same might happen. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Cute little fellas, bit dopey, but they're certainly cute. Well guys, that is the sign of destruction, absolutely gutted. Just, uh, yeah, right hand rods just pulled up, hit it, took about 10 yards of line, it's just kited as quick as anything straight into the island, uh, got the boat out, went out there, but yeah, long gone, and uh, yeah, devastated. Anyway, we'll rig this rod back up and uh, get things back out there, but yeah, sick as a pig, as they say. Morning, people. It's the last morning. Yes, half oh, five now. Had a warm night last night, actually. It's about 10 degrees first time. I hope you can hear me over these bloody geese half loud. But yeah, it's half five last morning. Done, done four nights now We're on a bit of a holiday at the moment, so yeah, can be doing a bit over the next uh, week or so. But yeah, absolutely devastated to be honest. Uh, I did that little uh, update yesterday about half past ten saying how good it looked and uh, ten past eleven. Off it went, it just sort of pulled up, right hand rod. Pulled up tight, I was looking at it, well, I've been having a few bleeps, sort of, of crayfish or whatever, undertow, maybe liners, and uh, pulled up tight, I jumped up, looked at it, and the old clutch started ticking. It hit it straight away, I was on it really quick, to be honest, but I'm fishing out long with braid, and, uh, yeah, most fish, when people are fishing out that sort of way, they sort of uh, run out in the deeper water, but unfortunately for me, the fish dropped the lead and it, it come up and it just kited really quick, straight into a big snag out there. And I reckon, uh, I reckon I had it on about 10 seconds, it found the woodwork, re really unlucky, but uh, that's the way it goes, so I went out in the boat for it, but yeah, could, could get it back, and uh, yeah, that, that was a hell of a job going out and trying to get it back, so it was a really strong wind, as you see, and uh, yeah, paddled back and I've uh, been sitting there licking my wounds ever since. Quite hard to take, you know, late night Burfield, bloody hard to get a bite as you'll see. And done 11 nights for that bite and then uh, to lose it like that, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a bit sick but lost plenty of good fish over the years, you know. Yeah, you, you, you win plenty but you lose, lose a few along the way and uh, it's hard to take being the first bite, you know, it's uh, really not what you wanted but it is what it is, got one more feeding time, I'm going to give it to you. Mrs Pot's giving me a pass till one o'clock so thanks darling, so yeah, hopefully I'll sort of cover, cover most of the bite time, if there is a bite time today and uh, yeah it looks good, wind's going to be similar but yeah, just hoping they are. Uh, one or two drift over, I see a big fish yesterday evening, about seven o'clock. That went out there, great big bloody triangle coming out the water. And so, oh yeah, that was a big one, as there are lots of big ones in here, as you know. And uh, yeah, just really hoping I'll get a chance to have a little bit of revenge and uh, get another chance to put things right, you know. But uh, if not, I'll, I'll be going home at one o'clock a day. and. Uh, I, I shall be back in a few days, like I say, on holiday. Rules on the era, uh, four on, two off, so we can do that. So, yeah, I'm going to go home, have a couple of nights for the missus, and I'm going to be back for another four. This is a, it's, it's, it's the big, big push. <laughs> I hope I can get a carp to show you. Uh, but we shall see, keep on trying, we'll keep on working at it, you know. At least I've had a bite, it's a bit of a confidence booster. I had it on a rubber hook bait, an all first one, first bite I've ever had a whale in because of the craze in here. You know, you are getting away at the moment with fishing uh, real hook baits on most, but that one rod I put a rubber out there because it was a little bit closer to the island, weren't that close. But uh, just to be safe, and uh, yeah, it was the artificial that went, you know, which gives you a bit of confidence going forward. Uh, had to have quite a bit of bait actually using a mix at the moment using all three sizes sort of 20s, 16s and 12s of, uh, I'm using a bit of Vortex, a bit of the Krill Active and a bit of the Manila Active all mixed together uh, a bit of Calanus Liquid and yeah a few Bloodworm pellets 
Yeah, a little bit of hemp as well. See, I put a, yeah, I probably put a couple of kilos over that, over that rod that done the bite, you know, which is a promising because yeah, up till now just been fishing bits and bobs really because I ain't really been having it. But uh, yeah, chances of get obviously this is a good old swim in the southwesterly this one, and uh, it's blowing southwesterly the forecast for the next uh, next week. But chances of getting in here ever. Uh, Pretty zero to be honest. It, it is probably the most popular swim on lake to be fair, and uh, for good reason. You know, you, you're fishing out there. You've got a lot, lot of water to yourself, and you also you can access the deeper water. And as I've said, been saying for the last month, the fish are spending ever a lot of time in the deep water, sort of in the outer bounds, and occasionally they drift over. Like yesterday, I said about the speedboat coming out, and might. Uh, Messing my chances up, it actually probably done me a favour, you know, because they're out there for the fish a lot of the time in the ski boat channel. And uh, the boat come out quite early, I reckon pushed a few fish over over closer to me, so it actually probably did a favour. So if the boat comes out this morning, I'm not going to be too bothered. But yeah, what is it? Just come up six o'clock, so I've got what six, seven hours, hopefully, put things right. If not, we'll go home slightly licking our wounds, but like I say, no point beating yourself up too much over it. You're never going to get them back, and uh, just got to try, try and get another chance. Right, well, hopefully, I'll be reporting back to you soon. If not, it'll be in a couple of days. All right, guys, just done that little update. You wouldn't believe it, 10 minutes later. I got my first Burfield cart. It's only a little baby, it's a little common, but yeah, first one out of Burfield, mate. Well chuffed. Give you a quick look. I don't even think it's a 20, but it'll do, I'll take that. Oh, you alright? That'll do nicely. Yeah, it's probably only an upper double, but I'll take that any day. Well, that'll be. Sweet, it's getting back out there. Well, 17 pounds. First Burfield Cup, well jumped. Yeah, we take you, thanks, mate. Right, let's get it back. Well, there you go. Thank you, mate. Back to your big old home. Yeah, back out in the middle. Happy days. I'm going to see that one again for a little while. That's it, Off you go, little fella. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, mate. We got there then, George. <laughs> Cheese block. <laughs> Cheese block. <laughs> How big, bro? Quite big. Quite big. Well, the missus said this vlog was boring as hell, so George thought he'd livened it up a bit with a prop. <laughs> <one. laughs> big old dog. Ball, it? Look at that. Plumpy, plumpy. Nice. Oops, that sound ain't going to be good. That shadow's... Bad, yeah. Bloody hell. Okay. Yeah, nice fish. Yeah, mate. Bloody is. Leachy. It don't look mega, mega familiar, for, well, uh, when I mean familiar. We'll have a look in a bit. Of having it before, I mean. <laughs> good? Lovely, mate. Good there, nick, isn't it, that? Yeah. yeah, very nice. Tail out a little bit, George. Got a little bit of glare. Like Just push your tail with me a bit, try and lose the glare. How's that? Huh? Yeah, yeah. lovely, mate. Get up there, boy. Hey, well done, Georgie. Well done, yeah. Good morning. Bit of a sore head this morning. Celebrated Georgie's uh, 51 yesterday. I'm back in the left hand murders and uh, just had a phone call. Georgie's boy's got a nice, uh, nice scaly one by sounds of it. So just going to whiz up there real quick and uh, do some picks for him. Red wine the night before and get here late. 
Yeah, yeah you snooze, you lose. Snooze, you lose, <laughs> son. I, I haven't actually said anything on here, but yeah, yeah. What George is referring to is the fact that this swim was free and I was on my way up here and uh, I had a heavy night on the red wire around the mother-in-law's the night before. So yes, if I'd got up my normal time, four o'clock, I would have been in this swim where George is uh, starting to absolutely clump them. <laughs> so you snooze, you lose. And, and there he is. Oh, he's got a lovely scaly one. A couple of scales missing by the looks of it. A couple of scales missing. Shame. Mm. Yeah. yeah. A sweet brother. Head up slightly. Yeah, mate. That's it. Oh, f me. A lot bigger than we all thought. 36... I don't know. 36, 12. Sweet. What do you say? Yeah, mate, totally. Good morning. Well, it's the final morning of this four day. I ain't done no updates through this trip because there ain't really been a lot to tell, to be quite honest. Obviously, you see my mate George, he had a right result. He did a couple more nights in here after he had that last fish and uh, yeah, ain't really seen it. I think they done the off, you know. The only fish being seen are right over the far bank, you know, right over in front of laneys and carpets on the outer bounds bank, on the rulings bank. They're the only ones that have been really seen. This, this old camera's misting up, let me just give it a wipe. So yeah, what have I been up to? Well, I did two nights in the murders. Didn't see a single thing in there. Walked it, did a four hour lap. Had a good walk around, looking around the other end. But I looked, walked, walked around the whole lake. I did a full lap, not just up the shallow end. Went all the way around, around the barnets, which is over the back there. Then you have to leave the lake, walk up the canal, past all that out of bounds bank. You're not allowed anywhere near that and then back round in a no-carp bay and then round our station and back round to here. So yeah, done a couple of them really long walks. Didn't see a single fish on my travels, you know, absolutely nothing to move on to. So I, I thought I'd get in here for my final night, so I'm happy in here. You know, not that I've seen anything, we haven't seen nothing for a few days, like I said. But there's always a chance out there, you know. The fish have still been doing the same thing they've been doing forever, they've sort of been over in the Outer Bounds, that sort of section of water, enjoying it over there, a out of travel, pretty safe, you know, no angling pressure over there, and uh, they're happy there, until we get some sun, I think they're going to carry on doing the same, unfortunately, next trip, which will be in a few days, the last bit of my holiday, the weather forecast is going to be pretty much the same, hold up, let's uh, clean that again, it's a bit damp this morning, so we're steaming up all the time. That's better. So yeah, not a lot of sail, but that's going to be, yeah, that's the way it is on somewhere like here, you know, where you've got that big section of water you can't get a carp a carp, and they uh, go where it's safe, and that's what they're doing most of the time. But you never know, I've got till one o'clock. Rods are out absolutely sweet. I feel pretty confident, even though I've seen nothing. It, it still looks good. Got a little bit of a southerly wind kicking up in a bit, hopefully. That's what's forecast. Bit of heavier rain coming in, but might stir something up. And we shall see. If not, I'll be back to Kent at one o'clock. Have a re-salt out, see the missus for a couple of nights. And I'll be back for the last part of my holiday. And uh, hopefully... <laughs> We'll, we'll get a nice uh, Burfield carp to show you. But if not, we ain't going to be giving up. We're going to carry on trying hard. Keep looking, keep walking. That's all you can do. And uh, eventually, going to stumble upon some. I know you will. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Keep confident, keep trying hard, keep looking, and we'll see how we go. All right, hopefully, as I've said before, I'll be checking in later with a carp. But if, if not, I'll speak to you soon. Morning people, it's uh, 7 a.m. Having a good sweat up, just pushed round to Barn. It's quite a walk, and uh, 
yeah, just absolutely tipped it there last night. So I've got one of them Nasher power barrels. Let's turn around and show you. For up here, and I've got to say, that has just been an absolute lifesaver. Bloody brilliant bit of kit. All puddles of mud, soaking wet, obviously, and uh, yeah, it's just pulled me through. It's a good 20 minute walk with all your kit, so yeah. What a good bit of kit, but I've made my way round to Barnes. I've got up real early, about quarter to four this week. I didn't want to miss the boat. I've just been round. Yeah, it's um, Nick the pilot's waiting to get in compound, but he's only doing a night, so I stuck a bucket in there for tomorrow. And I uh, thought I'd try the other end, so I've come up to Barnets here, which is, uh, as you see, what a lovely bit of water this is, you know. So I haven't fished this end yet, I've walked it quite a few times, I haven't seen nothing up here, but I thought seeing I had 24 hours, I'd, I'd give it a go up here, you know. It's a nice swim, obviously, you look round here, and this is all the shallows end, and through here, it's sort of the channel in, you know, you've got this gap here, and this is the way in between the two ends, so you've got that and round here out the back. We ain't really, we ain't allowed to fish out here, but there's the old famous scaffold. Zoom in a bit. See it, there's the old scaffold. I used to judge the old uh, ski jumping competitions off that. I think they're gonna start doing it again apparently. See it, that gives you an idea and uh, yeah, when I've been talking through my vlogs about the outer bounds, basically, if you see all, all the, basically, this, that's the bomb island over there. That's where you fish from there. And basically, this whole section of water, all of that, it's probably 25 acres, every, every bit of that is out of bounds to us. So, you can see why they sit out there all the time, why it's been so difficult, you know? A lot of people don't realise how much water is out of bounds on Burfield, and it's a, it's a bloody lot. It's, like I say, that's got to be 25 acres of water. We ain't allowed nowhere near it. It's, uh, yeah, it makes it tough. They spend a hell of a lot of time out here. The whole last month I've spent fishing the place, just been seeing fish pretty much every day out there. Safest houses, can't get near them. And yeah, you're just doing your best, waiting for an opportunity for them to move around. Obviously, when the water warms up, they're going to start getting around the pond a bit more, but they have spent a hell of a lot of time out here, which is why it's been quite a struggle. So, yeah, I'm going to have a, have a good look for a few minutes, or more than a few minutes out here, see if I see any bubbling or any, any fit of go, Lou. And then, seeing on me a nice and early, and I got up at bloody... Uh, like I say, quarter to four this morning to get here. I'm going to flick a couple of rods out, you never know. But uh, I shall catch up with you later on in the trip. May the 7 8 bloody ale stones. <laughs> mental weather this year. Absolutely mental. The size of these f***ing trees. What are you gonna do, eh? What are you gonna do? Mental. Had enough of this now. Everything's getting absolutely soaked. It ain't stopping. We've had hail, thunder, lightning all day long. It's bloody mental. It's the end of May. Salt it out. As you can see, we've moved into a very wet state of this. God, we've had some rain. But yeah, moved yesterday. I did that night in Barnets. Had a little tench, about five pound tench. Uh, four o'clock in the morning, got us up. I did actually see one up that end. Uh, it only looked like in a sort of up the double, but it was definitely a carp. That's the first carp in the, yeah, like I say, I've been fishing it now for about six weeks. It's the first carp I've seen up the other end, so that, that was nice. And uh, I was looking behind, and I see a couple wet in the open water, but decided to move yesterday. You know, I stuck a bucket in here in the comp, and, and uh, 
I've covered here, just a lot of, lot of rain, fault, arson still staying cold for the rest of my trip, so I thought this would probably be best chance. So I've had a go in here and uh, hopefully the cart, I don't know if you see this, hopefully the, the cart like this area, like the swans, check this out. What we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, it's getting on for 20 swans around here. Look at them all. See, so there's a couple of carp following suit and joining them. But I might have seen a couple out just past where I'm fishing. They're very subtle shows. Uh, not sure if they were tench or carp. I think they probably were carp. They're very subtle, like I say. They just broke the surface, but yeah. We got a chance, the wind's uh, it's going to dry up today now, but the wind is a light one blowing into this area, so yeah, don't look too bad, fingers crossed. But yeah, I said a few prayers to the old cart gods, we need a bit of help here. Like I say, whacked a load of time in this month, you know, I've had two weeks off and this is my uh, third, four, sort of done four, four days on, two off, four days on, two off, as the rules state. And I'm back for me last bit of my holiday, so I've got a couple, a couple more nights to, to save the day, you know, and try and get one of these decent birdfield fish on the bank. We keep on trying. I shall still carry on up, looking about in the afternoons, see if anything looks better. But I can see myself at the moment with the weather. Unless I see something going, I'm probably going to stay put in here. Right, hopefully, come on, come on, you carp. Hopefully, I'll be doing an update soon with uh, a nice cart to show you, we shall see. Fingers crossed. Alright people, got to show you this, these Burfield boys are not have a laugh, but how horrible is this? On the old fan, I don't know if you can read that or not, it says fat pot pest control. Ain't very nice is it? But, Tinners is just dead one. And that ain't no pest. Yeehaw! <laughs> we are absolutely buzzing. Yes, it's finally happened. I've got a Burfield chunk on. I'll get back to you in a bit, but she's looking fat and wide just the way we like them. Nice. There you go, guys. Try and hold the camera up, I just waited. It fought, fought, it's 42 to happy days. Are you alright? <laughs> it's yeah, 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 the prettiest cart in the world, but it's been bloody hard work catching it, so I'm well chuffed. Yeah, he's had lots of sleep doing it. Conditions out there. It's looking good, mate. Draw pecks of sweet. Oh, she's a fatty. It's a fatty. Big one. Yeah. What'd it go? 42 toe. 42? 42 toe. 42 toe. Burfield 40. Our <laughs> mate of yours, George, I mm. believe. Well, he's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Bless him. It ain't the prettiest, but he'll do for me. He'll do for me, kiddie. It's alright though, mate, isn't it? She'll get a kiss. carps or barfield carps. She'll get a kiss, mate, don't you worry about that. I've done a few nights for this one, so I'm well at me. Right, through the other side. It's lovely. 
got a few stories to tell, mate. I'll bet it is. That's uh, unfortunately had a bit of a running with an otter at some point in its life. Yeah, mate. It's a power for, isn't it? All right, people. Well, well shaft for that. <laughs> yeah, Joel's come around kindly, sorted us out. A bit of video, done us some nice pics, and uh, yeah, she's gone back there. So, yeah, just sitting here buzzy like you do after catching one, you know. Sort of felt close, as I said earlier in that little update. To be honest, the, sort of, I've had three bites on it there the time I've done, and it's sort of, yeah, you, it. Yeah, it's only three, them three days I got bites, I felt like, yeah, I had a real chance and I, I have had a bite, you know. A lot of the time you just, uh, you can't get on them for whatever reason, but it looked good out there. But just before I had a bite at, what, half ten? And uh, just before I had, I see one go about 20 yards behind the spot and I was like, oh, hello, hello, that was it. Then the, the old rod was off, like, hooked it. Bit of a plodder, as you tell from looking at it. And it was a sweet old fight, it's what you want, really. Fishing long, you know, and uh, yeah, just slowly come in, you know, just plodded all the way, no, no dramas, really. Love, lovely. So, uh, yeah, it's all happy days. I've got another couple of nights. Unfortunately, I've got to spin it round now, but uh, yeah, this is absolutely prime. Look at this, uh, this is a northwesterly wind. Pumping in it, it's absolutely perfect, but it's going to switch tomorrow southly, so it's going to blow over in that corner, which ain't ideal. Then, my last day, we got a strong southwester, which, yeah, you've got, you got a chance, I reckon, on that wind in here. So, uh, I should be staying put now for sure. It's all good. Yeah, what else? I don't really see anything about tactics, but using a, yeah, a long bit of lead core. Just is crazy in here, so using the old, the old Ronnies. Don't usually use them, but using them because of the craze. And yeah, bait wise, I'm just using a bit of a mix. I've got a uh, Krill Active there, the bigger ones. These are Manila Active. And these little ones here, little 12 millers, they're Vortex. And I've got a load of Bloodworm pellet mixed in with it, and sweet corn, and everything soaked in calamus liquid. Which seems really good. So yeah, that, that's been it. Yeah, I've better, better show that you've already seen it earlier. Over there. Everyone knows me pretty absolutely myself <laughs> seeing that. Because I've uh, I've been carp fishing <laughs> well over 30 years. But until six weeks ago, I'd never touched a bait boat in my life and absolutely ripped anyone who did. But I've got to say, when I first come up here. You've seen what it's like, you know, for me that drop off say, 160, 170 metres and you just can't, can't do it, you know. So I took the plunge, rightly or wrongly, and uh, yeah, got myself a bait boat along with the electric wheelbarrow. I thought, it's not, you need the tools to do the job on here and uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, you time one arm behind your back not having one. So uh, yeah, I've got one there and it's sort of, yeah, paid off. But... Yeah, if you don't know the rules on here, you, you can't use them all year. So we've only got another couple of weeks. You can, you can, you, you, you have to stop using them first of June through to the first of October. So the whole summer, bait boats are banned. So everything after that's going to be normal casting or whatever. They ban them because obviously it gets really weedy usually, and uh, yeah, for fish safety and whatever. They don't want people taking rods out too far when there's loads of weed, you know. So uh, yeah, fair enough. So yeah, be back, back to casting literally. In a couple of weeks time and we'll be uh yeah yeah go back fishing normal but uh yeah that's the first proper one i've ever caught with a boat boat and you know what it still feels good so fair play there you go make of it what you will love love them or hate them it's a handy old tool this one here if anyone is interested is a expo so yeah we've got that lot so six weeks ago just before coming on here and uh, yeah, so far so good. It does seem a very good bit of kit. A lot of the boys on here, be honest, I think nine out of ten people on here's got one. There's literally one or two people not using them. Everyone's using them. So you're sort of putting yourself at a massive disadvantage not using one. But no, it's a good bit of kit. Seems great. And uh, yeah, happy days. So yeah, got the rod back out there. And uh, when I was playing that fish in, like I say, I see one roll just behind the spot as I was playing it so this definitely looks good for possibly even another bite 
getting on a little bit, but yeah, there's st still a chance, I reckon. So hopefully, we'll be doing another update soon. But until then, I'm going to sit back and enjoy, enjoy this sun because it was bloody freezing when I had the bite, I had a snug pack on and everything, and now it's a beautiful sunshine. So happy days, I'm going to enjoy it. Right, catch up with you later. Afternoon, people. Not a lot of report today, but still buzzing after yesterday, obviously. Still looks good out there. You know, can't be old weather, but I'll turn on show you there. The fish I've seen today, I've seen about half a dozen, they're right on the far bank, which, which is about 500 yards away, I suppose, and that's the outer bounds. So, yeah, I ain't seen nothing anywhere near me, so. In times of travel, what you do? You have a bit of a car party. So, uh, just going to pop round and see my mate George and Neil. George is getting one of his famous uh, Greek o barbecues on. He'll get the old shofties on the go. Anyway, knows George, knows he loves a shofty and a bit of a cook up. So, yeah, we're going after and have a cup of beers, go around there for a barbie. Might try and film some of it, but know what George is like. He'll just tell me a off when I get a camera in his face. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you later on. I like the vlog. But we got George in his favourite position. <laughs> he's a, he's a, <laughs> Barbie, look, look at this disgust on his face. He loves the old camera. Come on, George, give us a smile, Jesus mate. Smile. Give us a smile. Hey, That's man. it. Yeah. Look forward to that, Ben. Yeah. yeah Lenny Long Dog. <laughs> he's <laughs> down riding. We're having a Barbie, but yeah, it's all good. Good morning. I hope you enjoyed a bit of George on his Barbie. Yeah, had a good old laugh uh, yesterday. Stayed round there, had a couple of glugs of wine, a few, few beers, nice bit of food till about half seven, I guess. So I came back and got the rods out. And then we've just had uh, the windiest night ever, you know, it's blowing an ooly all night. Oh, there goes the phone. We leave that, get away from that, that's annoying. So, uh, yeah, yeah, windy as hell last night. It, it's dropped off a bit, but I've had to redo all the rods this morning, you know. I wake up this morning. It's hard to get keep a rod in. I'm using six ounce leads out there, you know, with the braid, and the wind is so strong. There's a lot of weed breaking up, and it's coming. To turn this, turn this round. So yeah, it's, it's blowing up like it does on these big pits. There's a lot of broken weed coming from over there, I guess, and it's drifting right through, catching all the lines. That's been a bit of a mare. If you look at this rod, I don't you see this. I've already done that not long ago, but I've got a bloody branch there stuck on the line. You know, it's pulled round a bit, but you can't just keep redoing them, you know. It, it, it's going on, so we just keep them out there for a bit. The old lines are going well right where they're supposed to be, but I'm hoping the leads ain't moved too much. And uh, yeah, that's all we can do, you know. Ain't nothing to do about the wind, so uh, yeah, we'll leave them out. This is it. Last chance this morning. It's 10 o'clock now. The bites have been sort of 10, 11 o'clock, so this is prime, the prime time. But I've seen a couple this morning, but they're, they're wet. Again, they're not right on the far bank this time, but they're out, out in the ski run. It's still 150 yards past where I'm allowed to fish, you know, so yeah, it's still a long way out. But you never know, conditions look cock on, and uh, we will see. But if not, it's been a good old holiday, you know. I've, I've fished hard this uh, last two weeks. I've had two weeks off work, I've done three trips up here as you've seen, and uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it, i loved it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's been tough going, you know. Could have done with some sun, getting the fish up in the water and moving around a bit, but that hasn't happened, so we've had to make do with what we can, and uh, yeah, I've had three bites now, so three bites on Burfield. I've done 20 nights in total now, which is quite a lot for me, but this holiday I've done a load, and uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Three bites out of berth in the first 20 nights, you know, I took that at the start of the season, so happy day. Shame I lost that first one, but uh, yeah, these things happened. And uh, yeah, get this one. We'll be back at work, much to my disgust, and uh, be back in a week or so's time, I guess, for a couple of nights. So uh, yeah, look forward to that. Hopefully, we'll be updating you with a fish later, but if not, I'll check in with you next time.